What's going on, people? Fame Entertainment here. And it looks like my hope of the X1 staying at the 349 uh, price point is not going to come to fruition. Uh, everywhere I've seen so far, it's, uh, it's still saying, you know, 349 for a limited time. Uh, I'm seeing, you know, tweets, you know, from Larry Herb, things like that. You know, 349, get it while, get it while it lasts. Get it while it's still 349. Now, I think this is a huge mistake on the part of Microsoft. They've had, they've gotten so much momentum since this price point, and just taking it back to 399 is going to completely kill the momentum they had. It's kind of like how they had the momentum with, you know, with the games coming out, and then Halo Massive Collection has had so many, you know, issues with the server that it kind of killed, you know, momentum, you know. And I don't want that to happen. I don't want momentum to be killed again because of the price point. You know, uh, PlayStation has come out themselves and said that the X1 price point hurt them you know, sales-wise holiday season. Yeah, I know VG charts, you know, still has, you know, them up every month, but the X the X1 is making it a competition now. I know they're over, you know, 10 million, like 10.6 million sold, something like that at this point, which is great. You know, th this is this is great for gaming. Competition is great for gaming. You want both consoles to sell. You know, and X1 has some amazing games coming out uh, next year. You got Halo 5, Fable Legends, Quantum Break, uh, hopefully Scalebound, hopefully Crackdown. I mean, it's just so many games coming out. And, you know, I don't want, you know, for them to have low software sales because of the low hardware sales. I mean, you cannot complain that, oh, we didn't sell as many, you know, you know software sales of this game. You can't complain about that if you don't continue to push the hardware. Software is pointless without the hardware. Completely pointless. And I think this is a huge mistake on the part of Microsoft if on January 4th, the X1 is $399. You cannot do that. Americans like cheap. Parents like cheap. When they, you know, kids going, oh, mommy, I, I want a next-gen console. Please, mommy, I want a next-gen console. And they walk into Walmart, and they see $349, and they see $399. I mean, it's a no-brainer. And on top of it being $349, you got two games for the free. For the absolute free with $349. You cannot beat that. To me, the 349 should be the standard price point for the X1. And whenever they do sales again, 329. I mean, it's, it's proven that you see places like, like Walmart toward the, um, you know, this month you will see you see Walmart have advertising the the PlayStation for you know 349, 329 because the heat that Microsoft is putting on them is making them you know places do things like this. You know, the, these X1s are flying off the shelves because of this price point, and you have to keep that going. I, I honestly do not believe, you know, that the uh, PlayStation will, you know, make an official price drop. Number one, they really don't have to during the lead. And number two, I mean, I don't know their financial situation. Some, everybody claims that, you know, Sony's broke or whatever, but I don't, you know, I don't know if they can even afford to right now. And, and the main issue, like I said, they don't have to. When, when, when you're a top dog, you really don't have to. If the X1 continues to put the heat on them like they're doing now, it'll force them to. It will force them to. But going back to 399, it's, it's going to be devastating to the momentum. Now I could be wrong, you know. I could, I could, I could, we could be completely wrong. You know, take my word as you know for a grain of salt because that's really what it is. They go back to 399 and they could continue to sell tremendously. You know, prove me wrong. I hope, I hope that the word is out now that the X1 is a great console. You know, all that bad press it got, hopefully, you know, most of that's going out the way that people realize this is an amazing gaming console. This is an amazing console. Now, hopefully now that a lot more people have it, that the word is, you know, finally out, hey, the X1 is not what you think it is. It is a, it is a gaming console. It has games. It has games. It's fun. The community is still fun to play with. My hope. But if not, I mean, we have to get on Twitter and all these other social media, let these people know, hey, we want 349, man. 349 is where this console needs to be. But that's all I got, man. This is Fame Entertainment. You guys have a great one. Behind tea, hustle, souped up, clock kid. I am a tame, the 
fuck with you lame, my side bitch your main, blame it on fame. This is no flex, don't got ammo. Yo ho do when I say so. Bitch.